flash of the Arctic Cooler M2 Pro for NVMe drives. I have the crucial T500 Pro, one terabyte here, and I will install this cooler into the crucial SSD. So this this was really cheap M2 SSD. The size should be 20, 2280 or 2280. That's the cooler size. It's uh, made in, I think it's uh, Arctic from Germany, but I guess it's made in China. And also in Hong Kong, that's the product codes. Online manual, that's nice to have this so QR code to get to install this. So I'm gonna take it out from, from the box. Okay, first I'll show you. I tried this, I did some tests. I did a few speed tests with the Crucial T500 NVMe without the cooler, and I wanted to try it with the cooler. I bought the cooler from before, but I only installed it in the computer and did the test, the speed test, and it was slowing down pretty much when it was getting around 80 degrees is a place where it starts to reduce the speed quite dramatically around 400 megabits per second or 600 like this. Usually it's 2, 2, 2 gigabits per second transfer speed 2.2, so still it's not the full speed. The full speed is actually 7 point something. I have a separate video with all that if you want to see it. I'll do tests with this cooler also, and we'll see which one is better. In this video, I show you just the installation and in the computer to make sure that you see what I'm doing. Maybe I'll do it wrong, but hopefully, hopefully, I'll do everything right. So first, I open it wrong here. Should be the, the face, should face up. Just be careful with this. NVMe drives are really so tiny and so small. Especially there's a version with the heatsink for this. And I wanted to buy the version with the heatsink, but uh, by the time I decided to buy it, it was already sold out, not available on Amazon. So I got this one, plus a heatsink, separate. So I can still buy this one. I had the option for Kingston V3 and uh, Crucial P3 Pro, but I preferred to get this. This was, uh, it had better specifications. So, okay, I'll put it aside for now. Let's see what's with the cooler here. Okay. Oh, it's really solid. So it's really, okay, nothing else there. It looks like a matchbox. It's really, feels really solid. With the, with the coolers for NVMe, it's actually important to have the thermal thermal capacity, meaning that the more material it is, the, the better it will be, because usually NVMe drives have bursts of really fast rides and heat generated really fast, and then it's uh, sitting, not doing much. So it's sliding, it's like a tray sliding. There's a branding there, Arctic. I don't know, some people were saying it's not good, but it's so cheap. And uh, I don't know, this is aluminum here, all metal, aluminum. So this is the top. There's some kind of, a, this is a protective film. This is a protective film and it has to be removed from both. This will go under under the NVMe and then that's that one. this one will go on top. So it's cooling from both sides. And this is pretty solid. It has pretty good weight to it. I think there should be some specifications of the, the weight. I think it's at least 50 grams. I don't know, it doesn't say, but it feels good. And this is just a piece of carpet. I think that's the NVMe there. And I like how it's made this one. It's this uh, nice finish on it. And once you remove this blue sticker from here, don't touch it because it's going to interfere with the heat transfer. And it's a long story before I removed the labels from an NVMe drive that was out of warranty. But for this one, I will not remove it. Even though the, on the top label it doesn't say warranty void if removed. And you can see, I tried to check it from the corner here a little bit to see what kind of. Some people say that these labels are made of metal, like copper. This feels like just simple plastic, plain plastic. But it could be that 